Hello and welcome to Pagati TV. I'm your host uh, Kaya Ndubane. As usual, I have uh, Msepana Sepo Nsole, our analyst. Uh, we are reviewing uh, this past weekend's uh, um, um, results in the APSA Premiership, where no less than 20 goals were scored in, uh, um, in eight games uh, played. Um, Sepan, what impressed you the most about this past weekend's games, besides the goals, of course? <laughs> well, yeah, we have to talk about the goals, Parquet. Um, it was a really good, you know, uh, opening round of fixtures in the PSL. Uh, some really lovely, you know, matches. Uh, uh, new signings coming to the fore. I mean, we saw the likes of Capatino Mahango, you know, scoring on his debut for Pirates. You know, uh, Chilzing winning three two at Makulo, which was, you know, a very big deal because you know it's very difficult to come out of to come out if a win in Makulo. You know, uh, repertory debut. You know. Uh, super Sport and Sundown Sundowns winning 2 0. You know, uh, the Polokwani Davy, you know, Baroka, and you know, Polokwani City. You know, it was, it was, it was great, that party, and you know, it was nice to see you know, goals being scored. Interesting that you, uh, earlier on you, you mentioned Chiefs, they won at Makulong Stadium, and not an easy victory at Makulong Stadium. The Chiefs fans should be celebrating, but it's not the case. We, we, the, the talk you know, after that uh, result is that uh, Stuart Bucks, they want Stuart Bucks to come back to Nigeria. And uh, on the same note, uh, I hear that uh, during the press briefing, uh, Middendorp stormed out of the press briefing the, the moment he was asked about uh, Stuart Baxter. You, you thought on that, on that incident? I think I really understand his frustrations. I mean, you know, uh, there has been, you know, talks for, for uh, about about uh, Stuart Baxter returning to Kiza Cheese for a very long time. And now that he has, you know, uh, departed his, you know, uh, coaching job at Bafana Bafana, you know, the, the talks are heavily, he's being, you know, linked with Chiefs heavily now. And, you know, I, I mean, it, it was unprofessional for, you know, mid top, you know, to walk out of the presser. But again, you know, I understand his frustrations. I, mean, I don't think, you know, uh, it's, it's a really good thing, you know, to hear that somebody's coming over to take your job. So, yeah. Well, there's also a win for, 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 for Paris at uh, Orlando Stadium. Looking at the, 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 the results, it's 3-1. Mm -hmm. But uh, you were watching the game. Yeah, you were there <laughs> at the stadium. You know, was the, the scoreline the true reflection of the game? Uh, I don't. I don't think you know it was a true reflection of the game. I mean, uh, we all know you know Salty has always been that you know boogie team for 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 London Paris, and I mean uh, it says a lot you know because I mean. Uh, Celtic, Celtic played very well on the day, you know, they created a lot of chances, you know, but again, Pirates were just on top of their game and managed to, you know, utilize their chances very well, which I think, you know, worked very well for them looking at the fact they managed to score three goals and I think what's interesting again was seeing, you know, uh, Gabadino Mahango, you know, scoring against his former side, you know, now playing at Pirates, getting the third goal of a match, it was, it was really great. Interesting times indeed in the APSA Premiership, considering that it was only the first day in the APSA Premiership. You can have your say on today's topic on our social media platforms. On Twitter, we are at Pagati. On Facebook, Pagati. Until next time, enjoy the beautiful game.